All right, hey everyone. Um, welcome to what is hopefully going to be my Jaws of Hackon Let's Play. Um, it will be starring Rath here, Rizel Lavellin, my favored Inquisitor. He's actually my second Inquisitor. Um, I played the first time I played through. I played with Adar. But yes, this is him. He's a Rift Mage, as you might be able to tell by the skill bar. Um, romanced Dorian. Uh, let the Grey Warden stay. I'm trying to think of the, the, all the big things to hit. Let the Grey Warden stay. Um, side it with the mages. Uh, allied them. Um, we are post game. We are post end game. Um, oh, that's the thing. He drank from the well. Um, but yeah, we are post end game, and yeah. I guess I mean if you have any. I'm assuming anyone who's actually watching this is probably someone who follows me on Tumblr anyway, so you've heard all all my uh, rambling anyway. Let's see. I think we've got... Do we have a couple? Yeah, we do. Um, oh, look, we've got a thing for Dagna. I forgot about that. Investigate Frostback Basin. So you it. and... Uh... Yes? Oh my god, was this she, every single I time mean, did she ever, that I've come in here are you asking for since details? Endgame, this I, is the only... <laughs> no, that would be uh, inappropriate. Yes, Colin, no, shush, I'm trying to talk. Um, that is the only dialogue I've gotten in here since Endgame, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it's a glitch, or they just don't have anything else to talk about. Um, which, unless I'm mistaken, it's because Leliana in this world state romanced um, Neria Serana. Or was romanced by Nerea Serana, who died. Very, very tragic. I haven't actually played that game. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I think that's if uh, if there's any questions you have about Rad's world state, um, I guess feel free to ask. Um, I don't want to delay too much. Uh, also, this may end up being two takes or something because uh, <laughs> I haven't minimum suggest a level twenty. Okay, yeah, we're good. Um, this is my first time actually opening so up anything to do with Hack on. Oh, shut yes. up, Colin. Was she. I mean, did she ever. Are you asking for details? I. Uh, no. <laughs> that would be uh, inappropriate. <sighs> yes, anyway. This is my first time opening up anything to do with Jaws of Hack on. Um, I'm pretty. Well, mostly spoiler free. I know that you find out stuff about the last Inquisitor. Um, I know there's, like, some sort of dragon or something. I don't know. Uh, that's. Uh, bears. Something about bear jokes. Um, okay. So yeah, so I'm pretty, pretty unspoiled going into this. To Ambassador Josephine Montillier, thank you so much for your early cor earlier correspondence. I confess it's been difficult to get those in Orlais to take this discovery seriously in light of recent events, but I am positive that scouting the Frostback Basin will yield historic discoveries beneficial to both the academic field and the Inquisition. As a staunch supporter, I'm honored to be working in such great company on this historic occasion. Yours most sincerely, Professor Bram Kenrick, University of Orlais. University of Orlais has vouched for Professor Kenrick. If he says there's something worthwhile in Frostback Basin, we should investigate. All right. Investigate Frostback Basin. We've scouted the region and set up camp. Professor Kenrick has the scouts gathering anything they can find. So far, we've uncovered a lot of very old buckles. <laughs> Hopefully this yields something more exciting. Yeah, that sounds like archaeology. Anyone who comes here should be ready for hostile wildlife and angry of art. This place is dangerous. Scout Harding! Oh, Harding. Everyone loves Harding, right? Um, oh, yes, and I put a timer on my... Which I just remembered to start just now. On my phone, because I'm terrible at keeping track of time while doing this, and I try to keep my episodes of a Let's Play to about half an hour. Except for sport. Venture forth to Frostback Basin now, yeah, actually. All right, so we want Sarah, Dorian, and... Oh, yeah, we can go over this. Obviously, Solas has fucked off to God knows where. Um, Cole was never recruited by Rath, because I'm just not a huge fan of Cole. So, And Rath was like, mm, no, spirits. Weird. And he is... Blackwall has been... Um, he gets to go do the joining for real. Coward. All right. So yes, this is the team I usually run. It's 
it's also the dragon hunting team, because poor Dorian gets stuck with <laughs> everyone being excited about dragons except for him. Firm. Pentagast, Nightmare, Focus. It's a nice background screen. Now we find out if my mods are going to crash or anything. <laughs> uh, come on! Jeez, usually it's a lot quicker than this. Although I suppose it is my first time loading the area. I think I've got my recording set so that you guys will hear this even though it's on a loading screen. There we go. Very Good to see you again, Inquisitor. Allow me to introduce Professor Bram Kenrick. He's the reason we're out here. A pleasure to meet you, Your Worship. Professor Kenrick teaches at the University of Orlais. I came on an exchange program from Starkhaven. While in Val Royale, <laughs> I found something incredible. After 800 years, we may be able to determine the final resting place of the last Inquisitor. <laughs> last Inquisitor. All right, Rath. I, I don't know what's wrong with his arm there. Also, yeah, the frame rate's a little bit low because I've got the um, recording program running at the same time, Bandicam. It's, it's not usually too bad, but I'm usually only around 30 to 40 on these cutscenes anyway. I don't rest days of the last Inquisitor. Uh, and who was that? I'm afraid I'm a little behind on my studies. Inquisitor Emeridan stepped down shortly before the Navarran Accord brought the Seekers of Truth into the Chantry. He hunted demons, dragons, and dangerous apostates in a time before Templars even existed. I'm all for history if it means tracking down the equipment of a famous demon hunter. Yeah. I'm with you. Scout Harding, you had me at equipment. <laughs> you might like that. <laughs> Your scouts have gathered artifacts from the area. They may help us discover what Inquisitor Ameridan was doing. I have news as well. We've encountered hostile Avar to the north. They call themselves the Jaws of Hakon. Oh, that's a pretty... There's also an Avar hold to the east. Unlike the Jaws of Hakon, they've been friendly so far. The Jaws of Hakon? They're hostile Avar who attack any Inquisition agents or researchers who yes, get close. Yes, we, we got that. We've sent soldiers for defense, but the Hakonites are cunning, merciless, and know the basin better than we do. I'm afraid our men will not be able to hold out long. All right. Oh, God. Uh, I just wanted to chat. No, I didn't. Goodbye. I should go. Goodbye, then. All right. What do we have here? Zoom out some. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, yeah, I should check what my potions are. I, I prepped everyone for, um... God, do we not have... There we go. I prepped everyone with their, like, equipment and stuff before coming, but I forgot to... I don't have any elf fruit. Well, that's a terrible idea. Hopefully we'll find some. Or somewhere to sell some. Um, I don't like going back to... Skyhold in between things. Mighty offense tonic. Do I actually use? I never use that. Do we have any healing mist? Spindleweed. Here, switch this out. We've actually got spindleweed, and I never remember to use the tonics. To be completely honest. Okay, Sarah's got regen and jar of bees, which I do remember to use on occasion. And Doran's got healing too. Okay. Okie dokie. Well, this is pretty. I'm guessing that's going to be the way we're going to go. What's this? Inspect requisitions, harding. There's no quartermaster wandering around being like, I have thing for you to do. Where are you, quartermaster? Very interesting. It's the same... Interesting. That's the same bird as from the Arbor Wilds. A lot of this looks very similar to the Arbor Wilds, actually. Um, apologies for my camera. What do we have? 
We have a rift outside. Should go take care of that. Lead the charge. Fire allies and camps. Well, I guess we better go take care of that rift, which is that way, apparently. Alright, guys, let's go see if we're gonna get our asses kicked in front of all these, whoever these lovely people are watching us. Good lord. That was kind of noisy. God, also, I haven't played as Rath and uh, Co here in quite a while. Interesting. Base and floor. So, um, I may be a little... I may be a bit rusty, is what I'm trying to say. So you'll have to bear with me if my combat tactics cause you great distress. On the other hand, this is... that looks like Inquisition Camp. Um, on the other hand, this is only set on normal, and I've been playing on Heart and Nightmare for a little while on other saves. So that, you know, that could be alright. <laughs> Someone glitching out. I just point it with my finger, even. <laughs> I love the pathing in this game, oh my god. What were you doing, Scout? And I actually pointed at her with my finger, because you guys can totally see me pointing with my finger. Ooh. That's pretty. I took a screenshot of that. Oh, good. I wasn't sure if I'd remembered to, um... Oh, we're supposed to talk to Kenrick. Sorry, Kenrick. We'll talk to you eventually. Oh, this is very pretty. Very pretty. Um, where are we going? Up there, I'm guessing. Well, let's go back this way and talk to Kenrick before we fuck off too long. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Basin floor. Yeah, I'm still sort of... I mean, the Arbor Wilds were very pretty, and this is very pretty. That's a... Those are huge mushrooms. Goddamn. Um, but I'm still sort of bewildered as to... Is it, like, some sort of weird microclimate or something? Because, like... This is as far south as the Korkari Wilds, which were... Oh, there it is. Which were distinctly not. Alright. What do we have? Arcane Horror. God, I have not... Fear Demon. Whatever the fuck it is. Mm. Where is everybody? Back here. Do you have barriers, Dorian? No, you don't. Fair enough. Barriers for all. Ooh. Pull of the abyss. We'll stick this right here. For hating the outdoors, you really do seem to like bad weather. What? <laughs> oh, new new banter, or at least banter that I've not got for. The other day. You were outside in the rain, staring up with a grin on your face. I smile at clouds. I smile at clouds? Um, rude, fair demon. What? I should hunch and swear at the rain, pissing off my nose. Let the weather win. I smile and freak out of clouds. Maybe they get tired of trying. Are we still talking about... <laughs> oh, Sarah. Uh, what do I even have here? I've got Veil Strike. I thought I had... I do have Dispel. There we go. I was pretty sure I did. What? Never mind. Drinks and drinks and insults later. Uh, what's this? Oh, fucking despair demons. Rude. Oops. Nope. Uh, mind blast is now four. Great shade. Pretty much all our equipment, except for, I think, yeah, everyone except Dorian has demon slaying runes, so, let's fix that. There we go. Well, that was pretty straightforward. Alright, we have so much goddamn power. Well, it's nice to know where to almost... Well, we're not quite over-leveled for the area, but holy shit, son. This is Veil Quartz. That's new. Nice. 
Is it new, or have I just never seen it before? I didn't think any of the tier... there was any tier 4 material except, um, dragon stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I am wrong. That could very well be. I don't go to my way to look these things up, necessarily. Okay, we're not forgetting anything. Um, right. Rift taken care of. When I'm playing rad, that's I always like to do that. Get rid of the rifts first. It seems like the uh, sort of sensible thing to do. I mean, that is sort of his job. You know. Man, this is pretty. Late afternoon, too, apparently. Oh. Arbor Blessing. I'm looking for the gate back in. <laughs> I think I missed it. I think I missed it. That... Well, that's a wall, anyway. We'll hit a, we'll hit a gate eventually. Um, here we go. Okay. Research outpost. Very nice. Okay, where's Kenrick? Or whoever. Harding. Where the fuck is Kenrick? Up there, apparently. Fair enough. I'm gonna guess that's what... The basin beckons. Yep. Where the where the fuck am I going? I always sort of hate this map, the Inquisition map. I've I found it really hard to read. I still find it very hard to read, um, though I've gotten quite a bit better at it. Where's Kenrick? Oh, look at this. Here's the thing. A baffled note. A note affixed to a book entitled Sir Lothair Verne Doret's Victory and Dominion. Lady Harding, I could use the opinion of an expert. Though impressive, the victory outlined on the marked page could not have been achieved as stated. Bram Kenrick. Sure it could, if you had enough apples, Harding. <laughs> I don't know what that was about, but I enjoyed it. Oh, oh, let's loot a sack. What do we get? Wool. Exciting. Excuse me, guy sitting on a... Uh, Thing. I need to read this note. A neatly penned note. Professor... What's this dialogue saying? Nothing. Professor Bam Bram Kenrick, the requested supplies have been sent to your current location from the university, including additional ink, books on Ameridan, and three Divine Age buckles for purposes of comparison. And yes, upon your return you may say, I told you so, in regards to my saying your collection was useless. <laughs> Everything should arrive shortly after you. Of course, roads still aren't what they were. Also, I fed that fish, but I'm not talking to it for you. Professor Cheval Laurent, University of Berlin. Aw, Bram's got a fish. The left hand. Not surprising. Oh. Do you know much of them? What are they saying? That's it? Yeah. I wasn't actually aiming for Leliana. I have. Jace. Who's Jace? Should I know about Jace? Um Property of Colette. Pages of neatly written, painstakingly detailed notes fill a well-worn journal. The notes break midway through for a list. Is this? How long is this? That's really long. We don't really need to read all of those. You guys can sort of pause it and read if you want to read through it. <laughs> okay, there's Kenrick. Um, excuse me, Kenrick, I'm gonna read your books first. Ooh, Inquisitor Meriden. Uh, that is really long. I'll read that some other time. Friend of Emperor Dracon. Pax alone. Not willingly see power. Forced to retire. Rowdy noble. Okay. Fair enough. Phoenix scales. Odd. Okay. Oh, there's another piece of paper to read. Hold on, Bram. Questions of accuracy. That's also quite long. I don't actually... <laughs> I, I tend to not read things in-game unless I'm, like, desperately interested in them. Okay, what's Ke Bram got to say? Lady Ho <coughs> I mean... Scout Harding has an impressive team. Her people brought back a number of artifacts. 
Well, she's a good scout. If you need something tracked, Scout Harding is your woman. If only it were that easy. After 800 years, we can't just look for tracks. Barring enchantment, cloth and leather will have long since rotted away. Only metal and stone remain recognizable. Complicating this are recent pieces the Avar left behind, and, of course, ancient pieces dating back to Tevinter. Fortunately, thanks to some period-specific buckling, I've been able to track our last Inquisitor. Period specific buckling. What's the yeah, what's this about Devinter? You said there were pieces dating back to Devinter. <sighs> yeah. While it's rare to see Devinter ruins so far south, the Imperium once had an outpost of some sort here. Where didn't they have outposts? They might have built it as a, a ritual site. Not sure what military value it could have. In any event, it's muddled up the research slightly, but I've accounted for it. <laughs> Period specific buckling? <laughs> You lost me at Buckley. You'd think that a buckle was a buckle. But ever since people started belting on weapons, they've been adding bits. One piece here has a dragon engraving. With the alloys of the metals used, it's clearly Tevinter. While this one uses a clasp that wasn't invented until the dawn of the Elysian Empire. And when it comes to historical research, you might say we have to buckle down. <laughs> Oh dear, tell me what you found. What do you have, Professor? Everything so far points to the shore, not far to the south. There was some sort of battle near the shoreline. They were in a hurry. The scouts reported an island near an Avar fishing camp. But the Avar won't <sighs> say much about it. Obviously, I'll go do that. Uh, what's this fishing camp? What well, can you tell me about the Avar fishing camp? Not much. It's the friendly Avar. Not these jaws of hack-on barbarians. According to the scouts, they wouldn't say much about the area. Likely a local superstition. There was a battle? What makes you think the last Inquisitor was fighting? There's a clasp here common to armor links. It's clearly torn. That only happens from a heavy shearing blow, like large claws or an axe. Dun, dun, then dun. the dagger. Silver with a stylized dragon pommel and an inscription reading Cordillus. That dagger had to be a gift from Cordillus Draco, first emperor of Orlais. No one would just <laughs> lose such a thing. Well, you never know. I'll investigate I'll the island. I'll find a way to that island and see if there's anything useful there. Excellent. We'll I'll swim if we have to. What's been found. With luck, we'll both find some answers. Also, one of my research assistants, Colette, was investigating an old structure. Oh, we found her off. notes, didn't we? I'm not certain that it's related to our investigation, but it couldn't hurt to check with her. All right. So we've got some questiness. Um, I was talking about something before I talked to Kenrick there. Oh well. Uh, the veil is wobbly here. <laughs> Perhaps a bit wobbly instead. What? Let me check. Sensing, sensi, definitely wobbly. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, and he's not even here to defend himself. Poor Solus. Well, you better give it to him then. Okay, where are we at? We're in there. What do we have? It's gonna be a pretty big map. Worthy of publications up that way, of our allies are there. This is the thing. Lead the charge. Um, let's go... Hmm. Do we want to go grab this camp or grab this camp? That camp's closer. Let's go grab that one. Okay. That's typically how I, how I did things. Um, it's <laughs> why I've got so much power. I would... Even if I didn't do all the side quests in an area, I would... Uh, Jesus, that bird's loud. Oh, that's what I was thinking. I'm not sure if, if this volume's loud enough. Usually I have to lower the volume, but, um... Yeah, if you guys think the, the volume on the, the, the game itself needs needs raised, just let me know. Harding, you have anything to say? Have you seen the plans for the new camps? Tree houses. It all sounds awful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't like tree houses. 
Don't you like the idea of tree houses? It's a good idea, in theory. Up where the wild animals can't get us. But having solid ground so far, far below me with nothing but air in between us is just... You're afraid of heights. Who would have thought? Scout Harding afraid of heights. Me? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not afraid. Who's afraid? No one's afraid. I love being up high. Lovely views, fresh air, birds flying at my head. Oh, Harding. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I'm a little uncomfortable with heights. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Don't worry. Apparently we just wanted to... I thought we could catch up. Of course. Um... How's your family? I hear you have family in Ferelden. Yes, my uh, mother and father. I insisted I'm, they move to Denerim once I signed up with the Inquisition. Ambassador Montelier right. tells me I should invite them to Skyhold. She thinks they'd be proud of me. But after Haven, I, I just can't, you know? It's not that I don't trust you or our soldiers. It's just... Yeah. I just want them to be safe. And if that means they don't get to see things firsthand, that's okay. My mother likes writing letters anyway. Aww. Um. What do we think of Kenrick? Have you spoken to Kenrick much? I'm probably not going to okay. ask all the questions. He's quite nice, isn't he? And clever. Really loves his books. I said hello one day while he had his nose buried in a giant tome. His shriek was a winner. <laughs> <laughs> he can't stop doing it now. <laughs> it's too funny. Oh dear. Oh, that guy just... Did you see him? He just... Whoop. Um, tell me about the basin. How do you like the Frostback Basin? It's lovely. Oh my it? god, Rad, you need to put I shoes on. you step in a pile of bog fisher poo. The stuff's vile. It makes great fuel for starting fires, though. If you can tolerate the smell. And she's clipping into the I ground. I might suggest that to the commander. It could be great for sieges. <laughs> Uh, Colin's not too boring. Don't be silly. Okay, that guy's got problems. Um, oh, what would Raz say? Um, I hope this is joking. I don't know how this is going to come out. You want to use animal crap as a weapon? That seems underhanded. You said war was fair. I'd only recommend its use as a last resort. See, I think Raz would actually just laugh and be like, yeah, let's do it. Um, I should probably have clicked the bottom one then. Ah, da 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 da. Glad you're still with us. Let's be nice. You defeated Corypheus. I thought you'd have returned to your old life. After everything I've seen, I don't. Oh my god, that guy's gonna annoy me. We're gonna get out of here shortly. Shortly. I can't just pretend. I can't just pretend I'm the same person. I got yeah. a letter from my mother. She was happy the breach was sealed. She had no idea what we went through. And I don't have the heart to tell her. Yeah. Okay. We'll talk later. We'll continue this another time. Be careful out there. Aw, thanks, Harding. I like how she's always, like, concerned for the Inquisitor. It's very cute. Spec do we have any requisitions? I don't even think we do. Oh, look! Dwarven history. That's for hissing wastes. And that's... <laughs> I didn't pick this up until, like, I'd basically finished, I'd, like, finished the Hinterlands by that time. I don't even think, like, anyone drops for Elden Locks anymore. That's just everything. Okay. So, what is it? Uh, I still got, like, another five minutes. Yeah. Okay, so let's run up to this other camp here. What's this? What is this? A little... What did I... Ah, Elfruit! Yes. Come to me, Elfruit. I need you. Oh, shit. Shit. Uh, where the fuck? There it is. Down we go. Oh, yes. That's the one thing that bugs me about the Dalish armor. I, I quite like Rather than it. He, he went around in, um... Like, uh... Just enchanter robes kind of thing for most of the... Okay. Die, Tuscan. Jesus, that was intense. <laughs> I like how I had to do absolutely nothing there. Well, they didn't even drop anything. 
Uh, poo. Anyway, um... Ooh, let's go up this... Oh, look, it's one of the skulls. Okay. What's the same? I don't remember what I was saying. I'm sorry. My mind, it just, like, runs away. I got distracted by the tusket. Jesus, those things... Oh, the armor, that's what it was. Oh, yeah, he was running around in enchanter robes for most of it, and I decided after the, um... After Corpheus was defeated, we're gonna put on some Dalish armor. I do wish... I don't... I, don't, I know you can get keeper robes, but I don't really like them a whole lot on them. But, uh... Yeah, okay. We're not gonna go out of our way to find these. Um, I still have to pick up some other ones. But, uh... If we're near them, we'll grab them. Jesus, they're not being easy to find, are they? Okay. Come on, shards. There it is. There's one. Whoop. Um, it's not gonna be in the trees. I don't need to look there. Oh, oh, oh. Two. Come on, little shards. For some reason, I was at the hardest time on the Exalted Plains. Um... Tracking one down. Oh, that one's... That's, like, right near us, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, come on. Where's number four? It's always the last one that's just, like... You're like, I've looked everywhere! Oh, 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 I saw it. It's over here somewhere. There it is. Gotcha. Okay. And let's pick up someone's pocket change, because we are actually dead broke right now. I think I've got, like maybe a thousand gold. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. But yeah, so now he's in Dalish armor, which I quite like the scout ar armor on him. Um, except for the fact that, you know, they don't have shoes. This seems like a terrible idea. Please put shoes on, Rath. Okay, yeah, they're right there. Oh, yeah, there's one, like, right up there. Let's see if we can grab that, since it's right there anyway. Oh, there's another Tusket. Um, how the hell do we get up there? How do we get up there? Let's go around this way. I suppose I said I was going to go up to that camp. Ah, sawed it. Okay, I'm going to get up to the camp before this episode ends. Uh, let's just run through the knot path because that's how we get places. There's the tusket again. Jesus, Dorian. I should probably go check his tactics. I think I've got them set up for, like, dragon killing, basically. So it's a little bit overkill. But, I mean, we are level 22, so everything's kind of overkill. Yes, hello, random Orlesian guy. There's a... is that a burned out house ahead of us? Hmm. Interesting sounds. Ooh, I like that tree. Oh, hey. Hey, guys. Boop. Boop. Hey. Nice staves. Varstotten River. What's this thing? Poison spider. Kill it. Kill it. And there we go. Sorry, bull. Poor bull's not really getting to kill anything. Oh, there's another thing over there. Oh, and we're at about half an hour. Oh yeah, Raz's kind of, uh, down on health a little bit. I forgot about that. Okay, um, so we're gonna go set up this camp, and that will be it for this episode, I think. This is very pretty. Odd name for the river, though. Is it named by some random ander or something? Ooh, that's kind of cool. Alright, anyone got... no, no one's got... Remarks about setting up camp. Bull's been awful quiet. Not a lot of banter. <sighs> All right. 
Oh, look, they're fighting... Huh. huh. Hardly ever actually see them fighting things. I guess they must respawn because we set up camp. Oh, I'll freeze it for you. Here you go, random Inquisition scout. All right. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, yeah, this is the first episode of my Jaws of Hack on Let's Play, featuring my. So, Bull. Oh. What are your women like? The Tamasrans. Terrifying and inspiring. They teach you everything you need to know, give your life purpose. No, I mean, are they like you? Big and four. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, Sarah. Um, but yeah, so first episode of... Uh, that was our first bull banter for the, for the LP, anyway. First episode, Jaws of Hackon, featuring Rath, Dorian, Sarah, the Iron Bull. Um, and yeah, uh, hopefully you guys liked it some, I guess. I mean, not much happened this episode. We basically just uh, talked to Bram Kenrick, who is... <laughs> it's such a good thing, I... I I just can't get over the Stark Haven, Stark, Stark Haven, Stark Haven accent, because um, I'd only just met Sebastian in Dragon Age 2 the other week. But anyway, um, hopefully you guys liked. Uh, I'm going to be filming more episodes. Um, so yeah, tune in next time. We will uh, see about I don't know, fighting some things, exploring some stuff. See you later. <laughs>